Hi everyone, Krista here, and today I'm going to go over how to tame and use the Nazutoceratops in the latest prehistoric beast update. Nazutoceratops is a large, protective herbivore found across most maps. They usually spawn alongside Zutoceratops and Pinocosaurus. Compared to other creatures, Nazutoceratops is a simple KO tame. They do have some natural resistance, so they will take more arrows slash trank darts, etc. However, they will only eat psycho lilies or long grass. Even post tame, these are the only things it will eat. You can find psycho lilies in bushes where rare flowers are found. Azutoceratops prefers psycho lilies, a special flower that was added. If you don't have psycho lilies, then long grass or corn is the only other taming option. If you kill a wild Azuto, you have a chance to get a chibi or saddle BT. Now, Azuto has some unique abilities. Some are for wild ones only, and some for post tame only. Let's start with the wild ones. In the wild, Nazutoceratops will protect wild trikes, Zutoceratops, Paki rhinos, Ankylosaurus, and Pinocosaurus. This means if one of those creatures is close enough to a Nazuto and are attacked, Nazuto will rush in to aid and help them. When trying to tame a baby Zutoceratops, you have a chance to aggro a nearby Nazutoceratops. The protector of the herd always keeps a watchful eye on its allies. When it comes to tame Nazutoceratops, they also have some unique protector abilities. They have a special roar that intimidates nearby enemies above a drag weight of 285. This is aloe sized and above. When enemies get this buff, they take 20% more damage. If you have the Nazuto Tech Saddle and Element, then you can deploy the Nazuto Tech Shield. Acting much like a mech shield, this shield protects all allies within the bubble. In the bubble, you take 30% less damage, and the more allies that Nazuto Ceratops is protecting, the more element its saddle will consume. The size of the shield is based off Nazuto's max health. Let's go over the controls. I already mentioned the tech shield, and to activate that, you need element in the Nazuto inventory. Just simply press control, and it'll activate. You can hop off the Nazuto, and it will continue to run, even if you're not riding it. Left click is the headbutt attack. Right click does a stomp. C does the roar, and X does the impale. This is much like Stego's impale, and is quite dangerous. One thing to note about the headbutt. While standing still or walking, this does a flat base damage. Of course, it does scale with the melee that you put into your Nazuto. However, if you are charging, the more speed you have, shown by the indicator on the right side below the stats, the more damage you'll do. All around, Nazuto Ceratops is a great combat herbivore. They can harvest corpses with their main attack, they can stomp, and they also can impale those that get too close. For bosses, battle, raids, travel, or more, Nazutoceratops is a large welcome to mount. Have fun with your new Nazutoceratops. See you later. Bye!